Hello guys, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Also, I just want to say something from my last video, because my video, that last video, I was swearing and cussing a lot. It's because of a different game that I don't want to talk about. You guys probably already know it uh, from recording this, but go check it out. Um, it's a different game that I was, <laughs> keyword is, or, keyword is was, uh, I was looking forward to it. But now I'm not. So, yeah, you can go back and check it out if you want. So today, I'm going to say things that I like and dislike about The Sims 4. Now, some of these things, you might have some mixed opinions. You might, you guys might, you might disagree with me. You guys might agree with me. I don't really care. It's an opinion. It's an asshole. Everyone's got one. It's like an asshole. Everyone, everyone's got one. All right. Now, I really, really really love how they've done the game packs. Expansion packs, not so much, but game packs, game packs are like expansion packs to me. Like, they just, they're just spot on when it comes to design, gameplay, maybe cast and build and buy are kind of, like, they're kind of lacking a little, but the gameplay and the freaking Stuff it adds to your game, and there's no glitches in most of the game packs that I've known of, besides Dine Out. <laughs> Dine Out is the exception there, but this is, like, something I really love about The Sims 4, is the packs. The packs, like, they are just really cool, especially the game packs. The game packs, they add just enough to your game, and I feel that they're great. Expansion packs are okay too, but they're just not as good, in my, good as my opinion, and they're just, they're just more money. I prefer the twenty dollar packs and the forty dollar packs, even though I have most of the uh, forty dollar packs. Um, my favorite being Seasons, with followed by a very second close Cats and Dogs, City Living as a bonus, and then Get Together. Obviously, I can't forget Get Together. But uh, yeah. Another thing I like about The Sims 4 is the occults, or are the occults. Now, currently there are five occults, but three of them are really detailed and really in-depth. Those three being vampires, spellcasters, and werewolves, and they're all three really cool. Werewolves being the latest, and vampires being the oldest. So, uh, yeah, I mean, they're really in-depth. They have, like, a cool little perk system, like a little perk tree that you can go into, uh, and you get these abilities that allow you to do cool stuff. Not to mention they have cool, unique backgrounds for their needs. Vampires having the most differences between them, to where they have, like, their vampire energy, their thirst. Uh, werewolves having their fury and their temperaments, and then spellcasters having their charge. Um... And their uh, spellcaster curses, but you don't want the curses. The curses don't really appear unless you really want them to. <laughs> um, or if your spellcaster is immortal or immune to getting um, cursed. Curses are not what you want. Temperaments for werewolves, they're just kind of like a passive thing. They stay no matter what. They're just kind of a thing that make your werewolf's life a bit easier or harder if it's a blue or a red, depending on the color. Um, so, yeah. And then vampires are by far my second favorite, with werewolves being my favorite. The reason why I like werewolves over vampires is the freaking customization you get for werewolves. Like, again, you get so much customization with werewolves. It's, it's like it's like almost creating a new thing. Like, it's so cool. Um, You get so much customization. I'm not even joking. Um... Now, this is going to be a bit unpopular, and this is going to be insane about what, for what I'm about to say, because I know it's not... Hey, Andrew, that's not, that's not base game. But, yeah, whatever. Um, it is a pack. Specifically, uh, Cats and Dogs. I really, really love pets in this game. Like, they, they react accordingly. Sometimes they can be a bit buggy, but... Not all the time. They usually work perfectly fine. I love just having my dog in my house. And I love it just coming to me and asking for pets and stuff. A bark so that you know. Uh, yeah, I want pets, owner. Can I please get a pet? It's, it, it, I don't know why I've done that voice. God, I sound like a damn chipmunk or 
a damn mouse. I'm so sorry for the hatred that I'm giving on to you guys. But to me, the packs are so sophisticated. Like they're just they're just really cool. Uh specifically the game packs. But cats and dogs I might have to say it. It's probably like the most in death expansion pack I have to say, because like it literally adds pets. And the pets are really cool. You can paint on them, name them whatever you want. Uh there are three different types. There are large dogs, small dogs, and cats. And again, they all add the same function, except big dogs, uh, they can't go under the tables. Uh like unlike your small cats or you you know. You know what I'm trying to say, guys. You you know what I'm trying to say. Um But I really, really love the packs. Uh some of them have different opinions on me. Like okay. I have to say Island Living is like my least favorite expansion. I just don't care for it. Mermaids are mermaids are stupid. Uh they don't really add that much gameplay. The only thing that mermaids add they bit, they kind of act like vampires because they have abilities and they have a new need called hydration, which works like high hygiene. But hydration kind of like acts like vampire energy in a way, to where you need hydration to use your mermaid abilities. Otherwise, you won't be able to use them. So yeah, in a way, it seems like hydration for mermaids reacts in a similar uh, similar way to vampire energy for vampires, because if neither of them have vampire energy or mermaid. Hydration. I say, did I really just say mermaid hydration? <laughs> if neither of them have hydration or vampire energy, that they both can't use their powers. They have to have vampire energy or hydration to use their abilities. So similarities right there between the two. I don't really have a preference. I really like both. Sarcasm. <laughs> Why did I say I like both? I mean, duh, I like vampires a lot. I like a heck of a whole lot better. Um, it's almost incomparable. Uh, but yeah, I really like the packs. Alright, now, on to the things I dislike about the game. Now, these are going to be obvious picks, and I don't talk much about this, and that's the reason why I'm going to talk about it right now. So, right now, um, I know this is probably a bad or a good time, and I don't really care either way, but... One of the things I just hate about The Sims 4 is it's so inconsistent. Like, it's just, it's so inconsistent. It's so glitchy. Right now, there's, there's just an insane, almost unignorable, uh, unless you just ignore the free cam. You cannot use the free cam right now. I do not recommend you to use the free cam right now. It's bugged. It's glitched. It's broken. Just do not. I, re I, re I repeat, do not. Go to the free cam. Unless you're on PC or Mac. Just don't go to the free cam if you're on Xbox or PlayStation. Like me. Um, it's broken. It does not work. It is broken. Just do not go to it. Uh, I hope there's a patch tomorrow or next week. Because, I mean, it's got to come next week. Because next week is when Horse Ranch comes. So, I mean, it's got to be next week, right? It's got to be next week. If it's not tomorrow, it's got to be next week. And my guess is they're probably not going to come with a patch until that day because they usually don't come with a pack or a patch back-to-back uh, -back weeks. So, yeah, I doubt they'll have a patch tomorrow because uh, then it'll be a week later before they do another patch. So I doubt there will be a patch tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, another thing I just hate about the game. Is that it's not open world. And why, when I do say this, though, however, is even though it's not open world, in Sims 3, it had its flaws. Like, in Sims 3, when you were trying to, uh, you know, since it's open world, you can just go to a library. And then you're going to be literally the only one there. Maybe just your Sim, the library, and that's it. <laughs> Maybe one or two other Sims. But in The Sims 4, however... It is a little bit more packed, and you will usually see Sims on your lot. So it's usually worth it to wait for the load screen. So, yeah. I will give it props for that, because at least Sims do appear. But in Sims 3, I mean, there was no loading screen. So, like, 
Which do you want more? Sims or loading screens? I mean, personally, I don't mind either, to be honest with you. I don't think the loading screen is bad. I usually just get on my phone for a few minutes while I wait for it to load. And, uh, yeah, then I just go about my day. Or I listen to Spotify. Uh, and listen to my, some, some of my favorite tunes. Did I say tombs? I didn't mean to say tombstones. By the way, I just got a message on my phone. Let me see. This girl is stalking me. There's this girl on Facebook who, who is like, You're so hot. Oh my god, why, why did I even do that? Wow. Um, I'm kind of a psychopath. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm so tired. Right. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I have no clue. I have no clue at all. Yeah, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please be sure to like this video. Um, I, if you want a part two, I would gladly do it, but... I'm actually uploading a video right now on my phone. It's, my, it's like one of my favorite mobile games of all time. That I hope it comes to mobile pretty soon for the Classic Remastered. And yes, I'm talking about the infamous Baldi's Basics Classic Remastered. Um, I mean, I hope it comes to mobile sometime this year. I mean, I hope it does. People are saying that's not going to come because uh, it's just too big for my too too big for your device on mobile. I don't agree. I, I really don't agree. It's literally the exact same map with a few new sounds. How is that going to be too much for your device from the original game? <laughs> Whatever. I want you to check out this video as well as this one that I'm about to upload. So, yeah. This is going to be a double upload. So, yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be lit, let me tell you. Baldi's Basics was like one of those games that... Like, it was just... It was great. Uh, I, I, I used to have a freaking fit with it when I would lose. Especially against the principal, because the principal would always, you know, kill me. He pretty much. He doesn't kill you, he just puts you in detention. And usually when you go to detention in Baldi's Basics, you really can't get out unless you have the Baldi anti-hearing and anything tape. And even though you do that, you don't even have you don't even have any idea where Baldi is because Baldi gets mad and he just chases you. Listen, I know I'm being a bit weird here because I was talking about the Sims 4 and now I'm just talking about a completely different game. But I, I just want to talk about it. I really do. It's like one of my favorite games of all time. Um, there's even talk about it coming to console, which is just, it's really interesting. I mean, a game that seems like it, it looks to come out 1999 is coming to mobile. Like, it's, that's weird. That's seven years before I was born. Um, so, yeah. I think you're going to like the title. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, though. These videos, plural.